how to watermark multiple pictures for free in dark table. My name is Bomb Seven. Welcome to the Creative Home Decks. As a photographer, especially a beginner, making sure that your photos are watermarked for your brand can sometimes be difficult. In this video, I will make that easy and free. Let's get started. So right now we're in, just open your dark table. Mine is right down here. Uh, so in dark table, you have the option of importing either your um, an image or a folder. So in this case, I'm just going to use the, the image so you can see the images I'm importing. So I'll take image and uh, right here, I'm already in the folder where my images are found. But in case you don't know how to navigate this, please. Uh, right here you have the home desktop and so on almost like your windows explorer so if i had to go to this place i know my pictures uh my pictures are right here in uh, pictures uh, and in pictures i have a folder here i have this folder named pictures and right in there i can select so i'll click on the first one hold shift and click on the last one it's going to select all and then i'll click open now the pictures will load in once it's ready uh, it's uh, right now it has opened in uh, the dark room so in the dark room you're going to see we have uh, uh, the modules we have the base we have the grading and at the end here we have effects right here at the end where there's effect click on it yeah so you're going to see uh, watermark, frame, vignette, uh, sharpen and so on. So right now I want to work with the watermark uh, menu. So you click on it. After you're done, you're going to see the watermarker. Once I click on that table, you discover that the logo appears here and I can do some functionalities here like scale and so on. So but we don't need, we don't want the dark table. Now you have to be able to create your own logo and my logo here is zoe logo so the question is how can you include your logo in marker so if i were to click on zoe logo you see it appears and it's too big so but the question is how do you get to this so your file when i highlight on it you see it says svg watermark and then it indicates the directory where it is found so i'm supposed to create an SVG of my logo and uh, right here where it says watermark so you're going to see uh, C program files dark table share dark table and then watermarks that's where you're supposed to be able to place uh, your logo but the logo must be in an SVG format and uh, if you're wondering what SVG is and you want to know how to convert um, actually you can check my tutorial above on how to convert to SVG in Inkscape. So to continue from there, I will select the file here, which is ready. So, but how do you get to where you're, you're going to keep your logo? So let's go to Windows Explorer right here. Like I said, you go to C, uh, you go to Program Files, you go to Dark Table, you go to Share, uh, you go to Dark Table, and then you're going to see a folder named Watermarks. So once you're done following the other tutorial, you come right uh, and creating your logo, you just come right in here and paste it. So let's move back right into Darktable. Now in Darktable, this is my logo. All I have to do right now is to be able to scale it and position it well I, where I want. So I'll use the scale here, which is, I'm gonna drop it down till I think it's okay. But I don't think this is where uh, my logo is supposed to be. Uh, so I'll come down here where you have offset you have the X and the Y So right now I want to move it down. So I'm going to use the Y And bring it down and I want to move it to the side So I'm going to move it right here somewhere here. I still feel like it's big So like that and then after you're done adjusting which is simple like this you can also reduce the opacity right here opacity is just the transparency of uh, your logo so like if I start pulling you discover that it gets transparent and it can go through so I don't want it to be too 
should not uh, pop out too much so I will reduce the opacity again and then I can rotate my logo if I love to in any direction that I would like to so I like it here so uh, after I'm done doing this there's, uh, there's also another way you can actually do your text and write if you like me to do a tutorial on that please drop a comment below so once you're done doing all of these and you're sure that your logo is okay you can keep your logo any way you like using all of these uh, once you're done and you're okay the next thing we're going to do is move back to uh, lightable so we're going to select our picture move to history stack you're going to see copy parts so right here where it says copy parts you click on it and then it's going to ask you the things that you want to copy so in this case we just want to copy the watermark so you unselect the rest and then leave just the watermark and take ok now let's move back here to uh, our dark room select all the pictures so you click here on the on this one first and then hold shift and click it's going to select all of the pictures once all the pictures are selected we can move back again to lightable um, right here in lightable uh, you discover that it says now that you should paste we're going to paste this to everything that we have selected and say okay so when we move back to lightable you discover that it's working actually it's trying to paste um, the watermark that we created so you can give it a moment at times it's slow okay so after some time you discover that uh, your pictures have been watermarked here uh, if you look at it if I click on this one you discover that it's there click on this one it's there and that's how you can actually uh, watermark multiple pictures in that table when, once you're ready to export you click on this one hold shift and click on the other picture and then you go back to lightable export selected now you have to be able to down here you see target storage so let's choose where we're going to save the file i've clicked right there uh right now i'm going to be saving it in try pictures so i can create a new folder in here and name it water mark and then click create my folder is now created as where i am going to ask me select this click on it and then down here you can choose uh, the quality and every other thing that you want if you love me to also do something a video on this i can also do a little video on it so once you're ready once you're ready just scroll down again you're going to see export here click on export so it's going to take some time to export so just give it a few minutes your files are done exporting so you can check that where in the directory in which you had saved it all these pictures have been watermarked so you're ready to go and see you on the next tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share